Hey, my music's Math Prodigy, this is Coach Stifle with your daily dose of Math Mastery. And today we're going to go into assessment paper number 11. Now, I just want to remind you that your PSLE is just 70 plus days away. Okay? Away. Seven, 79 days away. Is it 72? I think it's 79. No, it is 72 days away. Okay. So anyways, um, what I want to also remind you is every question that I'll be taking from now on will be from the past PSLE papers. So again, I just want to remind you if you think that the PSLE is easy or simple, uh, you might want to take a look at these questions again. These questions are pretty, pretty solid, pretty difficult uh, if you have not seen them before. So my advice is uh, read these questions, do it over and over again until you get it because this is a sort of level and it probably will come out again, the same type of questions, um, for your own PSLE. Alright, with that, let's move into the first question um, that looks superbly difficult. <laughs> okay, it says here, Mrs. Hoon made some cookies to sell. Three quarter of them were chocolate cookies and the rest were almond cookies. So let's just stop there for a while and let's draw that. So which means that we have, we have four parts, am I right? Because three quarters, ma. Okay. Sorry about that. Sing it. Oops. Okay, I suck at drawing straight lines. Okay, but anyway, that that's that's the first one. So we have to draw four parts, am I right? So one, okay, that's bad. One, two, three, and four units. Okay, now the next part it says that after selling 210 almond cookies and five over six of the chocolate cookies, she had one fifth of the cookies left. Now, here's my question to you. Um, this 210 almond cookies, yeah? Uh, we don't know what the proportion is. We don't know how is it three quarters or one quarter or whatever it is, okay? But what we do know is that five six of the chocolate cookies were sold. Now, how do we get five six? Now, if you remember, this was actually chocolate cookies, right? Three quarters. This was chocolate cookies. And the rest were almond so how do we get 5 over 6? Now take a look at the actual number of uh, units for the chocolate cookies. We have 1, 2 and 3. That means, in other words, we have 3 units. But now we have 5 over 6. 5 over 6 means what? We have 6 units. So very simply, all we have to do is just double it. In other words, we draw another line in between. And now we already have 6 chocolate units. And so 5 over 6 of them were sold. So which means we can do this. We can just color in, we can just shade this part. So this was so, and leaving one unit left. And for the almond, we don't know how much is the thing, but what we know is, let's just put it here. It's not half, it's just anyhow. This is almond, and this is 210. And what are we left with? We are left with the 1 over 5. So there are a few ways to do this question, but this is the way that I will do it. And, um, so just take a look. Basically, what you would do is this. I'm I'm, I'm considering all these small little units. Okay, I'm gonna divide this element into eight units as well, uh, into two units as well. So now I have left. I have eight units. Am I right? Eight units altogether. And um, they said that one fifth of the total is left. So how much is one fifth of the eight units? I just times and I get eight over five units. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. Um, what do I get when I take 8 units minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minus this 1 over 5? In other words, the 8 over 5 units, like I have found out. I'm left with 210. Hmm, so that's how we do this question. So we're left with 210. So 8 minus 5 gives me 3 units. 3 units minus 1 and, uh, 1 and 3 fifth gives me... 1 and 2 fifth units, which give me 7 over 5 units. And 7 over 5 units equals to 210. So now it becomes simple. So to find um, 1 unit, and why do I find 1 unit? Because I want to find out the answer, which is how many cookies did Mrs. Hoon sell. Um, first off, I have to actually find what is 1 fifth unit, correct? So 1 fifth unit simply divided by 7, lah, so we get 30. So 1 unit, okay, I'm going to draw here again, right here. 1 unit is equal to 30 times 5 because 1 fifth is 30. So 1 unit equals 30 times 5, which gives me 150. So how many chocolate cookies were sold? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. 
Therefore, 5 units is equal to 750 because 150 times 5. So I get 750. Am I right or not? 150 times 5 is 750. I think so. Okay, correct. 750. Now, uh, what else is sold? Almond cookies. So therefore, the number of cookies sold was 750 plus 210, which gives me 960 cookies. And if you got that one right, I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, so that is um, the answer for this question. And that brings me to the exciting quote of the week. The quote of the week is, just because a goalkeeper is standing in front of you, it doesn't mean you can't score. <laughs> I heard this quote, uh, not quote, like, I heard this saying when a friend of mine was talking about it. So basically, um, what I'm trying to convey to you, what I'm trying to tell you is that um, th we have uh, obstacles in our life, am I right? We have obstacles in doing math as well, in doing our math exam. And that's, that is that goalkeeper standing right in front of you. If you play sports, if you play soccer, if you play uh, netball, whatever it is you play, a sport that you play, uh, there always is a goalkeeper. It rarely is, there really isn't one. So just because the goalkeeper is standing in front of you, it doesn't mean you can't score. Or in fact, you can score uh, amazing goals because a goalkeeper is there, because you will find creative ways to actually score that goal. So the thing here that I'm trying to make sure I put across to you is that don't be afraid to shoot. You get what I mean? Don't be afraid to shoot just because the goalkeeper is standing in front of you. You can go so many ways, right? So don't let that fear stand in front of you. There's so many ways you can score with, with even with that thing in front of you. So just remember that, and that gives you this co-cycle signing off saying, you are a math prodigy. Good job.